is that, that silver, if you do, if you're trading it relative to gold, you're in you're in one sensational stock or one sensational precious metal against the other. That's the best place to play this. Relative value gold to silver is the only place I feel comfortable making a call here. The silver miners are flat, okay? If you look at Fresnillo, if you look at if you look at silver wheat, and silver wheat is forty forty one dollar stock, forty dollars and fifty cents on December sixth. Um, the reality is, uh, silver was twenty eight bucks at that point. Silver's forty one, forty. Where is silver today? Um, I don't even know. Um, the reality is, the, the bottom line is, you've got a situation where if you want to play gold and silver, you yeah, play them relative silver, to each right? other. Uh, I do think that the gold silver ratio is relevant. I think it's it's a reversion to a declining mean. So in other words, over the last couple of decades, it's been roughly seventy two to one. Uh, that would be silver to gold. It's now about thirty two to one. I think it's not going to stay at seventy two, but it's not staying at thirty two. So the reality is, to me, this is somewhere mispriced and it's probably mispriced around 50 but it's 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 not a case where you can really make a call that silver is more valuable than gold here this has been all about the industrial plus the you know the kind of the you know the financial instrument element of, of silver well, the, the question is do you see any austerity measures coming out of Ben Bernanke no and exactly so that that's why that's why it still marches on and kudos to Guy Adami and on the halftime show it was at 42 he called 50 and that was a very unpopular bet because people are betting against that move so kudos to you Gabe so the austerity measures you bring that in Grosso because the thinking is if, if the Fed talks about austerity measures the dollar will go higher yeah, so the and so dollar, dollar should go trade. higher but I don't think it's anyone not. really no it's not going to or, or to be a knee-jerk reaction because I don't think anyone takes it seriously. And I think that, it, again, we talk about all this stuff as trades. Silver right now, it's the best trade. There's no reason to get out of that trade. There's nothing that really lines up or suggests that it's time to do so. Got up to close to 50 bucks today, failed at $50. I think it breaks through there. And a lot of this is about a lower U.S. dollar. It continues to deteriorate. I see no reason why you won't see a lower dollar continue and on, as central banks diversify. And on Wednesday, he's not going to talk about a weaker dollar. He's going to talk about a stronger dollar. But the truth... Well, what if he, but, what if he asks about, about the dollar and he doesn't about say... The dollar at all. This guy's because the, he'll be asked about that. the dollar. Don't you think that he will be asked about the weakening U.S. dollar? The US, why does the U.S. have a strong the dollar Treasury, policy? Let the Treasury Secretary talk about the dollar. Is no, that he'll, what he's supposed to do? He, I mean, I don't He might get pushed into it. I think that's the air about it is that he might get pushed into talking about the dollar. Right, in a Q&A, on a live Q&A session. Be don't talking know. about weak dollars, should be talking about a stronger People dollar. People are so concerned that Bernanke's like this schoolboy who's never been up in front. This guy's a, a, a Princeton professor. He's a, he's a he's a he's a Nobel Prize winner. The guy knows how to speak. He knows what answer what questions I'm, not I'm to I'm concerned that he is. I'm concerned that he thinks that he's the professor and he should be the student at this point. Well, look, I think he's got a lot to learn. Unfortunately, as as anyone in that spot would have a lot to learn. So he said all I'm already one hundred percent to be more outside. transparent. They're, this is what they're doing. They're they're telling people what right. they're supposed to do. Let's go to Brian. Brian Kelly. In terms of the dollar trade going in to this Fed press conference, do you think Bernanke will say anything that could move the dollar? No. I, I no, think, okay. No, no I, I think the market's already spoken last week. I think at best, Ben will, Bernanke will say exactly what Tim said. It's the Treasury Secretary's concern about that. He may reference other companies, uh, countries like China, and say perhaps they need to let their currency appreciate vis-a-vis -vis the dollar, but that's the most you're going to get. I think you can stay short dollars going into this. Okay, um, well, before we leave this discussion, i got to touch on this big deal of the mining sector. Uh, Barrett Gold making a bid for Equinox, uh, outbidding Min Metal of China by about 16%. Uh, Karen, what did you mean? You're in both Equinox and London. Do you think London is completely out at this point? Well, Equinox, I mean, it has been, for a while, people have thought that Equinox was, was out uh, of 